three, two, one. Uh, let me speed it up. <laughs> Leonardo. 10.0. Three, two, one. <laughs> this was how Mythbusters stars Adam and Jamie demonstrated the difference between CPUs and GPUs back in 2014. On the CPU side, one paintball gun fired single shots to painstakingly recreate the Mona Lisa pixel by pixel. The GPU side, a full paintball battalion fired all at once, finishing the image in just 80 milliseconds. Impressive, right? But this only scratches the surface of what makes GPUs so powerful. Hello, and welcome back to Quantum Fi, where we break down tech so well that even your grandma might say, oh, now I get it. Today we're diving into the graphics processing unit, or GPU, a powerhouse that's come a long way from rendering video game graphics. If you think GPUs are just for gaming, stick around. From self-driving cars to AI, GPUs are handling trillions of calculations per second and transforming industries. Let's get started. What is a GPU? The basics. Let's start with the basics. A GPU, or graphics processing unit, is a specialized processor designed to handle large-scale calculations in parallel. It was originally created for one thing, making graphics look good. Think about a video game scene. Every object, shadow, and texture on the screen requires thousands of calculations to render in real time. While a CPU, or central processing unit, is the brain of your computer, managing diverse tasks, the GPU is more like a high-speed production line, optimized for intense, repetitive calculations. Picture the CPU as a chef, focused on one dish at a time, while the GPU is a pizza assembly line with everyone adding their own ingredient all at once. This structure lets GPUs blast through graphic-heavy tasks and any workload that needs rapid parallel processing. Why use a GPU instead of a CPU? So why go for a GPU over a CPU? Take modern games like Cyberpunk 2077. Rendering realistic environments at 60 frames per second requires about 36 trillion calculations each second. To put that in perspective, you'd need all 8 billion people on Earth doing a calculation per second continuously just to keep up. CPUs are incredibly versatile, handling operating systems, applications, and multitasking, but they process tasks one at a time. GPUs, on the other hand, are built to handle a massive number of simpler tasks in parallel, making them the ultimate multitaskers. Think of the CPU as a jumbo jet capable of flying passengers to thousands of airports, while a GPU is more like a cargo ship with massive storage but limited flexibility. Each has a unique purpose, but when it comes to handling mountains of data, the GPU's parallel architecture wins. GPUs started as simple tools to make video games more enjoyable in the 80s and 90s, but in 1999, NVIDIA launched the GeForce series, turning the GPU from a graphics accessory into a high-speed computing tool. It was like upgrading from a go-kart to a Formula One car. Suddenly, GPUs could process visuals faster and in much greater detail. In the early 2000s, developers discovered that GPUs could be used for far more than just graphics. Their parallel architecture made them ideal for handling vast amounts of data in fields as diverse as finance and scientific research. In short, GPUs transformed from gaming sidekicks to essential players in high-performance computing. How did GPUs work? Let's take a closer look. The secret to a GPU's speed is its ability to handle parallel processing. Imagine you're trying to paint a massive mural by yourself. Each brush stroke takes time and it feels endless. Now imagine you had a thousand painters working on different sections simultaneously. That's how a GPU works. Instead of one core handling tasks individually, a GPU contains thousands of smaller cores that each process a piece of a larger task at the same time. These cores, often called CUDA cores on NVIDIA cards, are optimized for processing visuals by handling every pixel, color, and texture. This parallel processing power makes GPUs lightning fast at tasks like rendering, complex computations, and training artificial intelligence models. Beyond graphics, AI, financial services, and virtual desktop infrastructure, VDI. 
So what makes GPUs essential beyond gaming? Let's look at a few fields where GPUs are driving progress. One, artificial intelligence. GPUs are vital in AI because of deep learning, which involves training neural networks, models designed to mimic the human brain. Training these models requires analyzing vast data sets, something that would take a CPU ages. With GPUs, companies like Google and Tesla can run billions of calculations simultaneously, making predictions, recognizing patterns, and even understanding language. Two, virtual desktop infrastructure, VDI. Say you're an architect working on a complex 3D model, but you're on site. With VDI powered by a GPU, you can access this high graphic model remotely with almost no lag, as if you were in front of a high-powered machine. It's like carrying a supercomputer in your pocket thanks to the GPU's ability to handle graphic-intensive applications from anywhere. 3. Financial Services In high-frequency trading, GPUs enable financial firms to execute trades in milliseconds. Stock prices can fluctuate by the second, so faster calculations mean bigger profit potential. GPUs allow traders to run algorithms at high speeds, providing a significant advantage in a fast-paced market. Understanding the different types of GPU cores, CUDA, Tensor, and Ray Tracing. Modern GPUs are far from one-dimensional. Let's break down three types of cores in NVIDIA's GA102 chip found in GeForce 3080 and 3090 cards. CUDA cores. These cores handle basic arithmetic and rendering tasks, making them essential for video games. With over 10,000 CUDA cores on a 3090, they're like thousands of calculators working together to deliver smooth, high-quality graphics. Tensor cores. Tensor cores are optimized for matrix multiplication, critical in AI and deep learning. Think of them as AI's muscle, accelerating neural network training by handling massive amounts of data efficiently. Ray tracing cores. These are specialized for real-time ray tracing, which creates realistic lighting, shadows, and reflections. It's the difference between video games looking animated and looking nearly cinematic. This variety of cores allows GPUs to excel in specific tasks, making them faster and more efficient for dedicated functions. GPUs and High Performance Computing HPC. High Performance Computing, or HPC, allows organizations to spread compute-heavy tasks across multiple nodes. In scientific research, GPUs enable simulations that could otherwise take years, making them invaluable in areas like climate modeling and genetic research. Thanks to their parallel processing power, GPUs can handle calculations that traditional processors would struggle with, allowing companies to tackle tasks on a massive scale. Why Cloud Providers Are Embracing GPUs Cloud providers have jumped on the GPU bandwagon, and here's why. GPU technology evolves rapidly with newer models released almost yearly. By providing cloud-based GPU services, companies don't have to keep updating their own hardware. Instead, they rent GPU power as needed, gaining access to the latest technology at a fraction of the cost. With flexible pricing models, such as hourly rates, businesses only pay for the GPU power they use. This flexibility makes cloud GPUs perfect for anything from continuous tasks to one-off projects without the cost or hassle of on-premises infrastructure. The GPU's data hunger, memory, and bandwidth. A GPU's processing speed is just one part of the equation. It's also incredibly data hungry. The GA102 chip in an NVIDIA GeForce 3090, for instance, is supported by GDDR6X memory with a bandwidth of 1.15 terabytes per second. To compare, the RAM in a CPU supports around 64 gigabytes per second. This huge memory bandwidth allows GPUs to process vast amounts of data, making them essential for anything that requires constant data processing, like high resolution video rendering or machine learning. GPUs and Cryptocurrency Mining GPUs were also heavily used in cryptocurrency mining, specifically for algorithms like the SHA-256 in Bitcoin. In the early days, a GPU could calculate millions of hashes per second, working like a high-speed lottery ticket generator, hoping to hit the jackpot by generating the correct hash value. While ASICs, application-specific integrated circuits, have mostly replaced GPUs in Bitcoin mining due to their efficiency, GPUs still remain popular for other cryptos and tasks that need high parallel processing. Conclusion and Call to Action 
So there you have it. GPUs have evolved from gaming accessories into essential tools driving fields from AI to high-frequency trading. They're fast, powerful, and shaping the future of tech one calculation at a time. If this video made you appreciate GPUs a little more, hit like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to stay quantumfied with the latest tech breakdowns. Until next time, keep exploring the tech that's shaping tomorrow. Thank you.